Let's get you outside to both sides of the lake at 545. Burlington and Plattsburgh look absolutely beautiful on this Friday. Mm -hmm. You might even call today a top 10 day, but I'd argue Saturday and Sunday really are just because it falls on a weekend and you really can't get a better forecast than what we've got going. Mm. I appreciate the concept of a top 10 day, but I think the best day is one that is yet to come. That's very true, Jack. And well, <laughs> Saturday and Sunday are yet to come, so there you go. Hey, it's nice and comfortable out there this evening. You don't need a jacket whatsoever. Maybe when the sun goes down you will, but still, it's very enjoyable. We've got 68 right now in Saranac Lake with the beautiful blue sky there. How about Brattleboro? 74 degrees. Sun mixing with a couple of clouds out there. Rutland, one more pit stop, 71. You see the beautiful blue sky. A couple of clouds over Killington out to the east, but that's about it. That's what we've got going on for this evening. A few clouds out there on Storm Tracker, mainly in eastern Vermont. Out toward New York, it's totally sunny. And you see out to the west, we've got nothing but high pressure all the way out toward Chicago. So some of these clouds make it in by Sunday, but the rain that you see out to the west stays away until at least Wednesday or Thursday of next week. So plenty of dry hours to enjoy this evening. No exception. Just know that it does get a little chilly tonight. You might need the light jacket if you're headed out late, like 11, 12 o'clock tomorrow morning. Some towns in the Northeast Kingdom and the Adirondacks could be in the 30s again, if you can believe it. But we rebound nicely 70s and lower 80s by tomorrow afternoon. Some Sunshine from start to finish, even six, seven o'clock. Barely a cloud in the sky tomorrow. Now, Sunday's still extremely nice. It's a little bit warmer even, but we'll still have a few high clouds streaming in from the west. So just putting a little bit of a filter on that sunshine on Sunday afternoon. Perhaps the clouds thicken up a little bit overnight Sunday, but we're not expecting any rain out of those. So it's a stunning weekend. Tomorrow is the pick because we don't have any clouds in the forecast. Low humidity both days, though, and temperatures in the Champlain Valley, at least, should be in the lower 80s. 70s elsewhere. The dry weather continues all the way through the middle part of next week. You see maybe some rain coming into southern New England, but all the way through 5 p.m. on Wednesday, not a drop of rain for most of us in northern New England. Now, as we bring in the warmth next week, we'll also bring in some humidity. It's really oppressive near the Gulf of Mexico. Some of that comes to the north, but we have a saving grace. We've got influence from the Canadian Maritimes. You see a northeasterly flow coming onshore to Cape Cod and then wrapping back around into our region. So what that means for us is the worst of the humidity next week stays off to the west. Now it'll still be sticky out there, dew points in the lower 60s, but certainly nothing we haven't seen before and the oppressive stuff is out by Chicago. So no humidity tomorrow, upper 70s, lower 80s, full sunshine out there. It's not too often you can say that around this part of the country. So it's a great day to hit a watering hole, maybe Lake Champlain. Winds are out in the northwest, five to 10 knots and a nice chilly but refreshing water temperature at 60 degrees right now. It'll almost certainly warm up with the uh, temperatures in the 80s that we've got over the next several days and the nights also warm up, especially by Tuesday and Wednesday. That's when there's a little bit of mugginess in the air and we could come close to 90 next Tuesday and Wednesday, but right now we're going for upper 80s with the showers not coming back until Thursday. Liz?